Over the next few minutes, I'm going to take you on a brief tour to show you the different functions of ProPresenter 5. We are going to go over all of the features that you need to know in order to get your presentation up and running. So let's start by understanding the interface. First, on the left column, you'll see a preview region that shows any slides being projected on the screen. This is also resizable so that you can get a larger preview. Now underneath that, you'll see the library. This contains all of the different documents that you have available to you. This is anything from songs to message notes to announcement loops. And underneath that is where you can create the playlists. All of your different documents for each of the different events. Now on the right side of the screen, you will see the document viewer. This shows all of the slides available in each document. This also allows you to scroll through and project them on the screen in any order. Now underneath that is the video image bin. You'll see that we have a couple different options. First is a backgrounds folder, which is all the backgrounds media that's available to you. We also have a foregrounds folder, which is for mini movies or title graphics. A purchased area for any media purchased through the ProPresenter store. And lastly, we have any other playlists that you may have created. Now at the top, you'll see a toolbar. Starting on the left side, we have our clear buttons. We can clear all, which will get rid of the text and the backgrounds. A slides icon, which removes only the text. A backgrounds icon, which removes only the backgrounds. And we have a logos button that we can project our logo quickly. To clear the logo, we can hit clear all. Next, we have a new icon. This is for adding any new documents to the library. We have the editor button to pull up our editor. We can show and hide the video image bin. Next are different features available within ProPresenter. The first one is a messages icon, which is really helpful. We can throw up messages onto the screen for nursery callouts, and we can even project countdown clocks. We also have others like props, store, song select, Bibles, DVD, and Twitter. We'll touch on these icons in a later training video. Next, we have the format bar, which allows us to format the way that all of these slides look. Next to that is the timeline icon. This allows us to automate slides to a soundtrack. And then we have the templates area that allows us to select different templates to quickly change the look of our slides. And finally, we have an audio icon so that we can change the volume level inside of ProPresenter. The last item I want to show you is the global transitions function. From here, we can set both the backgrounds and the text transitions for the entire service. In a later training video, I'll show you how to program these transitions either by a per document or a per slide basis. If you are still having questions regarding any of these functions, be sure to watch for the next training video where we start building a presentation. And as we go along, some of these functions will be easier to understand.